So to finish up the month of September and start the month of October, myself and my friend Chris drove from Atlanta, Georgia to San Diego, California. And we made a couple stops along the four day drive, but the longest stop was the one I was most excited about, Marfa, Texas. So much photography was made, and y'all know how it goes. I typically share my favorites on my Instagram and Twitter, but those favorite photos, that's not the entire story. And the next 10 minutes is gonna give you a look at how all these photos came together, and I'm gonna show you my creative flow of ideas that led me to my favorite images. And sometimes this creative flow involves making not so good photography. So I'm gonna stop wasting time with this intro. Hope y'all enjoy this special Texas edition of Photography Behind the Scenes. This location was a great spot to get the trip started on. I love the lines here. I love all the available compositions. I was trying to work that truck in between the wall and that pole right there. We also have the shadow of the satellite dish creating another element to this composition. Dope spot to get started on. Because we started out in the daylight, a lot of these photos are kind of location scouting photos, getting familiar with what's around me. This one right here is a good example. Pay attention to this location because we end up coming back to it later in the day when the lighting is a lot better. So if at any point when we're out making photos, if you see me kind of tilt the camera up, that's most likely because I'm looking at the lens to try to set it to a more standard focal length, something like 50, something like 35. I don't know about y'all, but when I'm using a zoom, I like to try to keep the focal length at something that's standard. It just kind of looks weird when you start shooting at like 44 millimeters or something, but that could be a matter of personal preference. So we're getting pretty familiar with what's around us. We're getting some ideas for what we want to do later in the day when the lighting gets good. So if we take a quick second to do some product photos of the new 1826 collection that's coming out later this month. I had Chris throw on the crew neck that I was wearing off my back. Made some photos real quick, pretty standard stuff. We'll probably use them as banners on the website. We'll use them on Instagram as well. Love this one, the detail is great. It's an awesome lifestyle photo. And also we make some quick images of the back. I intentionally composed this next shot right here kind of off center and put a lot of the wall in there really like how this second one specifically came out it's really dope So took a quick break to get some food in us. Now we're back out. The lighting is starting to get better. It's still a little harsh, but it's harsh enough to where you can take advantage of it. Whereas before it was midday and it wasn't as advantageous to photos.
Right up here, I love the colors of this cactus growing over the fence with the blue sky and the red roof. It just all complements each other so perfectly. I have that video on the channel where I talk about things you can do to spice up locations and I talk about including your shadow as part of the photo and that right there was a prime example of me doing that. I think it adds a little something to that image. I think this is an aloe plant right here. So sick. I, I've never seen one that big before. I, I think it's an aloe plant. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But this composition is one of my favorites that I got the entire trip. I know it seems simple. And you're like, what is this guy talking about? But the framing of it, the colors with that aloe, heat. Now this is a massive regret for me. I wish I spent more time here. I love the way these cactuses are having this like flow coming up from the bottom of the image, but I just never got the exposure right. I didn't get the composition right. I kind of rushed and I have some deep regrets about that. Every time I was by this Marfa sign, the light pole right there was blocking one of the letters and I could never get a clean image. But this is what I was talking about, about coming back to this later. Look at those colors and that light, whoo, sick. And I really like the light right here against this wall. I don't really know what I was doing. My man Matt Day posted a meme a while back where I was joking about light on a wall. I thought it was pretty funny. That's what that reminded me of. So the light on this road is so crazy. I hand my camera off to Chris real quick and ask him to make a few more photos. We're gonna use these on the 1826 social media. The collection is designed as a collection to be worn when you're out making photos, when you're on your photography adventures. So it makes sense for us to get a lot of content to promote it while we're out here. And real quick, I had Chris sit down so I could make my own version. The colors is so crazy at this time of day right here. And the Texas sky, it just, it just goes on forever. Right here, I'm kind of out of position and this truck pulls through. I don't have a tripod. Made this photo at 1 15th of a second and the Ibis in the SL2 held up. Can't believe that. And this is our last location of the day. I believe it's called the Thunderbolt Hotel or the Thunderbird Hotel. But what's not to love about this neon sign? It looks so sick, the red glow at night. Now this first composition isn't my favorite. I moved to a better one that I think I like a lot more. And how I'm making this photo is I intentionally kept my ISO low, brought my aperture up to make sure everything was in focus, also manually focused, and then I set the camera to interval timer so I could just move through a bunch of poses, making sure I stayed still for a decent amount of time. And this is hands down one of my favorite photos on the entire trip. Now 
Now right here I just try a few other ideas. I have Chris jump against the wall to create more of a silhouette type image. Love the way these came out. I intentionally kind of catty cornered them. So I exposed for the hotel sign and then I moved a little bit to the left. That way he would pop out against a little bit of light coming off the wall. 